Hello, Johan. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great, great. Glad to have you on here. So yeah. after trying out your platform for myself uh -huh. and absolutely loving it, I figured I have to share this. So right. for everybody watching, uh, Johan has an influencer marketing platform called Collapflow, where you can go on there and search influencers on Instagram in any niche that you want. So the main purpose of this video is for Johan to just kind of explain to us all the different features that we have in influencer marketing, teach us some really cool stuff, and pretty much share the story of how he got into this, um, how this whole entire platform and app got created, how people are using it, and making tons of money with influencer marketing. <laughs> so yeah. let us hear it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, we started uh, with a cosmetic brand ourselves that we ran for like uh, 10 years. And then awesome. after like, uh, I mean, it, it's completely built with influencer marketing, you know, but both like paid campaigns and gifting campaigns. Awesome. So after, after like, um, I would say like four years, then we started like building on Collabflow. Yeah, so basically we kind of solve our, our, our own problems to basically handle campaigns at, at the larger scale. Okay, awesome. So what you did was you started a brand and you decided to go the influencer marketing route where you were kind of paying influencers to do promotions and also gifting them, right? Yeah. So do you want to explain for everybody watching if they don't know exactly what influencer marketing is, how it works and how it usually works and, and stuff like that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the you basically reach out to influencers that fit your brand and either you like negotiate a price with them i don't really advise to to negotiate because if, if you tell them like what's your price you know they tell you an inflated price pretty much so what we typically do is that we just tell tell influencers that we want that we want to pay hey we want to pay you let's say a hundred bucks then they can either accept it or decline it but if you do that at, at scale you can find a lot of influencers that accept an offer that is not that expensive but right. i mean i prefer to do gifting campaigns because that's more authentic right why don't you explain gifting campaigns a little bit so in case people don't know what this means yeah so basically what you do is you contact let's say 100 creators okay you tell them that like, i want to give a product to you and in exchange you we want you to post about it right right so then if you let's say if you reach out to 100 people Maybe you know twenty percent will say yes of those. Right, so then, right. Then you have twenty creators that are interested, right? Right. So with like this, with your platform, with Collabflow, pretty much you can do this at scale and really quick, right? Because manually looking for influencers in a specific niche and trying to create a list and probably doubling up on that list and not knowing who you contacted, who you didn't, having to contact them all manually to see if they're <laughs> even interested. Um, mm -hmm. With your platform, pretty much you just do this in bulk. So like if you have yeah. a pet store, you would look for influencers in the pet niche and it will just show you all the Instagram influencers and in detail. So like how much engagement they have, right? Like what are the other really cool features you guys have in the platform? You can kind of. I would say like the like to succeed with influence marketing, you need to first of all, all get creators to respond to your emails because right. if, if, if they don't respond, is kind of pointless thing is like a lot of a lot of brands just randomly reach out to to creators and believe that they're going to respond to like a, a random message but the way our platform works is that you can basically you can create like a you, you can combine two keywords so one example would be like let's say you're like a cosmetic brand that target women over 40 for example then you can basically add the tag over 40 and let's say skincare. And then you can see which creators are over 40 that are interested in skincare. The benefit with that is that then you can target them with an email that says, hey, I say you're, you're over 40 and you're interested in skincare. We have products, you know, that, that does just that. Yeah. Right. And the, another like super cool thing about your platform is, is when you search these influencers, you can actually gather their email addresses to email yeah. them right within the platform. Right. Yeah, cool. So instead of having to go to each um, 
social media page and to each influencer's profile and look for their information, look for their email address, you can actually just get all the email addresses right away. So yeah. you can just bulk email all of these people relatively fast because as you were saying before, you can reach out to a thousand influencers, but that doesn't mean that a thousand influencers are going to actually answer you. Exactly. So it can be a very long and lengthy process. And with your platform, it's super quick and super easy, right? Yeah, so for sure. So yeah, definitely. So you have the, the research part that I just described. Then what you do is you put them into a list. So let's say you have like, you pick out a certain group of creators. Like I said, you, you can add like a hundred of those into a list. Uh, and then you add them to a outreach sequence, which automatically just reach out to them. So you can decide how many emails going out per day. So you can kind of like measure how many in incoming uh, collabs you get, right? But yeah. then those are kind of autopilot. They just, these emails get sent out, you know, every day. And then you basically, when the people respond, you also have a campaign feature. So you can basically automate product send outs to these people as well. Yeah. Amazing, yeah, amazing, so to, amazing. Yeah, we have a lot of upcoming features that are coming this uh, this year, which will make it even better. But I would say like, as of now, the strength in our platform is to quickly find creators and to email them at bulk. Right, and you can email them right through the platform. So you don't even have to yeah. go out to do this. Yeah, exactly. And you can connect, connect like uh, 10 email accounts. So, you know, if you want to go for volume, we have a lot of like clients of us that basically do volume that onboard, but they do affiliate marketing. So what they do is basically they, they directly sign people up for an affiliate uh, program, which I personally don't really recommend because then you don't know if like people actually like the product or not, you know, uh, they need to try it first and then they can post about it. That's what I recommend. Right, so, right. You like gifting. Yeah, gifting or even seeding. So there's two different ways of gifting a product. So seeding is where you basically send product out uh, without kind of like forcing people to, to post about it. So you basically tell them like, we want to give you a product. We think you're a good fit. And then it's a non-strings attached um, thing. So don't feel forced to 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 write about it you know that's between the lines you know you don't you don't actually say that you know? <laughs> right right what you what you do to get people to actually to actually post about it is just constantly follow up and you can do that through through the system as well via, via automatic emails right and influencer marketing is pretty much super hot um besides paying ads for your stores your drop shipping stores your brand um, influencer marketing is super um, profitable, right? Because you have the perfect audience already. So like if you have like what you're talking about, you know, a beauty brand and you know that this beauty influencer is highly liked, highly engaged audience and they trust her already or him, uh, mm -hmm. they make one post and there you're showing your brand to, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of people in one shot. So, I mean, yeah. Super, super cool thing to to get into um, if you have never tried it yet. Yeah. Um, something else super cool I found about your platform was that you can search by hashtag. So yeah, that yeah. was extremely useful for me. And I'm sure that's extremely useful for a lot of people, right? Because you, you yeah. kind of know which hashtags you normally want to target. And yeah. this way you can actually look up influencers that use these hashtags. So that's, yeah. that's cool, cool feature that you have going. You can even combine like bio search like searching in people people's bios plus hashtags and then right. you can make it like super super targeted you know so another thing that uh, we recommend is to basically go for volume because volume negates luck you know like if you just reach out to I mean, if you look at like most brands they say that uh, influence marketing doesn't work but then if you look at uh, what they've done they have they haven't, haven't partnered with more than than like 50 people right then like 50 people you can't like get any data from that i mean like you, you need to partner with hundreds of creators to find the winners you know? right 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 yeah it averages out some will win some will lose some exactly. will right absolutely agree since a lot of i assume that you're going to share this to drop shipping people right well that's yeah. what i have right <laughs> and and i assume that a lot of these i mean most every one of these people run the paid social ads absolutely so, 
Right, but almost everybody. Do, right, every, do, almost everybody in the drop shipping um, industry and the people that have drop shipping stores are marketing through paid advertising. Right, let it be Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok. I mean, of course, there's always organic, uh, organic TikTok and SEO and stuff like that. But for you know, good and faster, faster results, usually you're going to use paid advertising and influencer right. marketing is definitely a good alternative. And if not an alternative, you know, good to do even at the same time as paid yeah. ads and of course organic, right? You wanna use a lot yeah. of different methods to, to get traffic and brand exposure uh, to get those sales, right? And then you yeah. just kind of double down on what's working for you, so. Yeah, definitely. Like, so if you don't do paid social, you kind of like missing like, I would say 70% of the value because, you know, you get content from these creators. And if you like compare like, uh, this, this content, let's say you do like a seeding campaign where people actually, only the people that actually love the product and the brand post about it, then it's way more authentic than if you like pay a person up front to, you know, post about something. You know, you have a lot of like UDC content these days that are super staged. It's basically people telling them, hey, say exactly this and record it for us. Right. But people are getting smart. People can see through this stuff. So by doing like influencer seeding, then you can assure that the people who actually post about it are people who are, you know, actually like the product. Because So what would you recommend for like an influencer seeding campaign, like what you're talking about? What would you recommend like number wise? How many products give to how many influencers for free and mm -hmm. stuff like that? Like what have you found to be like most effective and, and financially beneficial for the brand owners? It depends on your like budget, of course, right? But I would advise to maybe like gift, let's say 50 to 100 products a month, and then basically see what, I mean, at least, because if, if you look at the numbers, uh, if, if you see the product, then let's say you contact a thousand people, okay? 200 of those gonna op opt in for a, uh, this uh, campaign. Mm -hmm. Then like, since you do seeding and you don't force people to actually post about it, about 30% of those who opt in, actually uh, post which is then 60 people or so that actually post right that's great yeah but then you have like 60 it's not even 60 because people post you get maybe like uh, 2.5 uh content pieces per creator so you can like calculate that you get a shit ton of content each month <laughs> uh, and then you can use that in your paid social to basically create winning ads so i think it's extremely synergetic when it comes to drop shipping and e-commerce in general right absolutely so now um just to touch on kind of what you're talking about a little bit so when you say mm -hmm. you're going to use this for your paid advertising mm -hmm. so you would pretty much need approval from the influencers to use their user generated content correct to Definitely, yeah so the way it works is that if you don't if you do a seeding campaign like i explained then about 80 percent of the people that you actually reach that you, that actually post maybe even 90 percent, depending they accept you to use the content for ads if you if, if you send them a good email and i can help you look, phrase those emails so you get a better response yeah nice that's great so, so you hear you guys remember what he just said because he just offered to help anybody that wants <laughs> no but definitely with their, I mean, with their influencer content emails and stuff like that so that's be honest, awesome. I, I think i think it's like fun to do you know so and i'll, I'll share like i can share some templates that everyone can use. Awesome, that would be great, oh, yeah. yeah. Cool, man, so collab flow. So tell yeah. me, so like what, what originally happened was you had your brand and mm. you were kind of spending a lot of time doing influencer outreach and yeah. kind of looking for the right influencers and doing a lot of manual work. And you kind yeah. of just decided like, you know what, this is ridiculous, it's taking super long um, and you know, you're getting a very few amount of people and you started yeah. thinking, how can I do this in bulk? And yeah. you kind of just sprung this idea, like, you know what, I'm going to create a whole entire influencer marketing platform where you can yeah. search in Instagram influencers and um, just find everybody that you want, which is like great. Yeah. And then the email that you can like email people right from the platform and like yeah. in bulk is amazing. Yeah. You don't have to use, you know, a special email service or anything like that. You can literally do it right from the platform. Yeah, definitely. Um, you, just connect, you, you connect your own email addresses and then you basically you know, send from there. But like, right. look, looking back at the, you know, why we actually did this from the beginning. So 
we did a lot of like paid partnerships in the beginning. We hardly did any like gifting campaigns at all, you know. Mm -hmm. But then we saw like uh, you know prices started going up. So a lot of like influencers were were like charging more, but they were also like promoting more, you know. So if you promote more and charge more, you know the results goes down, you know. So then we started like uh, gifting campaigns, and we saw that holy shit, we can actually exchange a product to an Instagram story or like or like an Instagram reel, right? So then we also started like onboarding these people into an affiliate program. And then we had like, I mean, the return on investment on the, those campaigns were crazy. We had basically like people that we, I mean, with the pure gifting campaign uh, where they wasn't even signed on, on onto an affiliate program, you can send a product out that costs us, let's say like 20, 30 bucks. Right. And they could sell for like uh, hundreds, even thousands, you know? Right. So, but then obviously like you, you want to reward creators. You don't want just to, you know, maybe just send them products unless they're like hardcore fans, you know what I mean? Right, right. Then we, then we onboarded them into an, like a, an affiliate program, but we could, we had like creators that they generated like tens of thousands in revenue over the lifetime. Obviously this was years, right? Right. But, but still it's like, um, and then we got content that we could use for our ads. So it was, yeah, that's, Amazing. that's a reason why we actually started this, uh, this software because we know the value of it. And oh, it yeah, just, absolutely. It, it will just continue in the next like decade. You know, you gotta be smarter though. You gotta be know, know how to, you know, which creators to target and like how to, you know, send emails to them. But as long as you always like uh, evolves, evolve, then, you know, you can stay on, on top of things. Right. And I mean, and you get a lot of help in the platform, right? So you don't have to yeah. actually manually search them and you just offer to help everybody that wants with their emails. <laughs> exactly. But, but also like uh, you do a lot of like testing, you know, when you do like Facebook ads, you do creative testing, right? Yeah. Influence marketing is the same, same thing. You put different creators into buckets, you test which type of creators do well, and then you can kind of like select the, uh, I mean, you can you can find out what works best and double down on that. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. A lot of people, you know, we're always talking like I'll talk to people all the time. Like, you know, I'm getting like this much in sales and like, I, but I need more. How do I get more? And yeah. my first question is always, well, how did you get the first ones? Because you just need to do mm. more of that. <laughs> you know, yeah. like once you figure out what's working for you. Yeah. like stick to it and just keep doing it and go harder and go harder. You know, I'm not saying don't try more stuff, yeah. but if you're trying like different marketing methods and one of them is working for you yeah. and you see that it's working, just go harder at it. You know what I mean? And that's how you scale it. You just have to do more of what you're doing, you know, be consistent yeah. with it, boost it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But so now yeah. your focus is pretty much fully on the platform. And yeah. I heard you have some really co cool features coming out. I yeah. heard from a little bird. So you want to tell yeah, us yeah. about those those features? Definitely. So I mean, in this spring, we're launching the Facebook, sorry, the, um, the Shopify plugin and the mm -hmm. WooCommerce plugin. You know, so those are two things. We don't yet have like uh, content tracking that save the content, but that's also coming. Uh, we it's, it's set to be released in uh, in April or May, but that will also allow you to basically automatically save every content in, in the campaign. So let's say you like uh, partner with like uh, hundred creators, you don't want to manually sit and like download those stuff, those right. stories. It's like impossible to do. So what our software does is that it basically track uh, those creators every every um, I mean on a twenty four hour basis. And basically download the content uh, so you can basically also like uh, upload it into your like uh, dropbox or whatever you're using great great and you also have plans to move out of instagram or are you going to keep it just kind of instagram uh so we, strong? yeah but so i mean instagram is really the core influence marketing platform you know it's more it's more, right, course, way more predictable yeah. than uh, TikTok, but we're also looking at uh, adding TikTok this summer i mean we're looking at starting to develop that this summer and then i mean now it's a little bit uh talks about uh banning tiktok united states right like right right where we don't want like uh, over invest if if that happens you know 
But, right. Um, yeah. You got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're 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 set to to do that. Launch that uh, that feature at least. Great. Yeah. But, so I mean, the the whole like um, the platform is. I mean, the 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 mission behind it is to create an end to end influencer marketing platform where you can basically find influencers, you can reach out to them, you can create campaigns with them. You can then onboard them, them into an affiliate program, whether that, that is like the content and save the content exactly. in one place. That's really important too. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you have don't have to manually of, keep up with that. Just kind of automate everything. Yeah. Yeah. You have an overview of the sales and the engagement as well, but, but also like, um, we're, we're planning out uh, an affiliate program within the software too. So instead of like having to pay for like uh, other uh, expensive affiliate programs, you'll have everything in, in our software. That's coming though later this year. Okay. So Johan, tell me, since we have mostly drop shippers probably watching this, um, what kind of drop shippers does this work best for? Yeah, so I mean, the drop shippers that cares about building a brand and having unique products. And I would say like, if the product cost is like too high, they might not want to gift the product that costs like, you know, I don't know. Right, so it's not exactly great for high ticket drop shippers per se, but more for kind of regular scene, like you know, normal drop shippers. Yeah, and then the the way you can like uh, make your results better is that you can have a um, a unboxing experience, right? Right. Yeah, definitely. Unboxing is super cool. Unboxing experience, and then do a maybe handwritten note, something like this. This can also like be automated these days. You know, if you have like, um, if you have like a fulfillment uh, partner that can do this for you, also like a video message is very good, like a personal video message. So if you have like a, a person that is managing your, you know, customer support or maybe someone who who does your socials, then that person could record a personal video to the influencers. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've actually used that personally for myself before that approach and like DMs mm. and stuff, like an actual mm. video, video message talking to people. Yeah. Um, even voice messages work well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, probably voice, video yeah. is, is the best. And I'm and I whenever I get a uh, like a DM like that, like a cool DM, and it's somebody on video talking to me, I'm always like intrigued by it. I'm like, oh, that's great. I really like this. You know, it's much better than a text kind of what you get from everybody. You know, you kind of get like to see the person's face, see who they are, it builds some trust yeah. behind that brand. Um, so yeah, I definitely love that idea. Yeah. So tell me, where can people find more information about your platform? Of course, I'm going to drop the link uh, in the description of the video and yeah. in the comments. But if they want to go a little bit more into to depth on um, learning about CollabFlow and everything that they can get in there, um, do influencer marketing easily, why don't you tell us a little bit? Yeah, I mean, you can visit like collabflow.ai and there we have like a promo video that talks a little bit more about the, the product. But then I also have like a YouTube video we can share in the description where people can actually see the the uh, the, the um, features of the product. Awesome. Yeah. You awesome. Can see the user interface and basically how it works. You know. Okay, great. I love but, that. Okay. Yeah, we also have like a 10-day free trial. So if you guys want to try it out, just feel free to sign up. You add your credit card, but uh, you're not going to be charged until 10 days later. Great. That's great. Yep. So this way they can see how they like it nice and easy. Yeah. All right. Also, well, thank you. Uh, go ahead. Also, also, like the last thing, like if you want some like uh, strategy, talk about strategy, you know, need help with something, you can just reach out to me on johan at collabflow.ai. Great. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for doing the video, kind of yeah. telling us a little bit about influencer marketing and your platform. And if anybody has questions, feel free to drop them in the comment or check out the website, send Johan an email, and he will be happy to help you. Mm, definitely.